since 2009, we've been working on IPM Train to Trainer. We've been working, first of all, in 2009 until about 2012, we've been working with insect training, training them about insect pests and also insect beneficials. And this was training master gardeners, university extension agents, some just of the public, and then also private industry uh, that wanted to come by. After the, for the last two trainings, we've been funded by Western SARE, and that's to do more of an integrated pest management training. And those are to train them on, first of all, getting out there and monitoring what kind of pest, what kind of pest do you have, of weeds, insects, diseases do you have out in the field, and correctly identifying that, that and then being able to survey and find out, okay, are these becoming a problem? Are there the beneficials out there to take care of that pest and control that problem without us going out and just spraying chemicals immediately? Over the last few years, they've been able to be educated on knowing what the pest is, how to monitor and survey for these pests, pest problems, correctly identify it, and then apply a type of management practice. And it may be something just as as we look at IPM as crop rotation, as using a resistant variety, at um, maybe a biological control, depending on what that pest is, or if, if necessary, using chemical control on that. Yeah, we are seeing crop consultants come to these meetings uh, primarily, and also some industry folks, and they're serving a broad uh, base of agricultural uh, crops and they many of them are new to the industry and so I think they're finding this really beneficial to um, strengthen their education and uh, understanding of IPM. We are seeing adoption. We're seeing by these the, the farm advisors, those types of individuals actually working with their their um, subordinates, their individuals within the companies and so forth. And the adoption is at least, we would say, you know, if we want to be conservative about this, you know, at least 15, 25% within the, each company. But that's a lot because then those individuals that have learned it are actually educating other individuals within it. And that's why we do the train the trainer type programs is to get them to understand and train the other individuals that don't just know the terminology of IPM, but understand those principles and practices.